Hey, psst. If you like emojis, this is some great news for you today because in Zoom's most recent update from April 19th, 2021, you now can use all of the emoji em, emojis 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 as the reactions button to show up on the top left of your screen. And how is that going to look like? Well, let me jump into this view right here. So you all know the reactions button down here, right? Once you click it, you get your default kind of five reactions. Let me actually zoom in a little bit closer. So you see that uh, we got the clapping hands, we got the thumbs up, we got the hearts, the kind of crying, laughing emoji, we got the surprised face and the party cone to celebrate achievements and wins. Whenever you click any of these buttons, it will show up on the top left of your screen for about 10 seconds. So we can use all of those. And those have been here for a long time. I actually did a whole video on how those work, including some of the uh, other buttons down here that are called the nonverbal feedback, where you can do these impromptu polls. So check that out if you're not familiar with them. And then there's this new thing right here. You see those three little dots? If you click that, it will open up this menu and suddenly you have access to a lot more emojis. So we have all these like smileys, we have animals and nature, so we can click octopuses and we can click uh, all kinds of animals. You can do all the food. So you could be asking as a question, as a facilitator, hey, put the emoji of your favorite snack. And people could go like, um, I love grapes. And then we'll show up on the top, uh, like to show you how it looks like. So now I just put the grapes up there or uh, I'll put the octopus again. And so we have access to all of these different emojis, activities, travel, places, objects, symbols, even a couple of flags. And the cool thing is you can simply just type in something that you're looking for. So um, what should I be looking for? Let's say I want a cat. There we go, we got a bunch of different cats to choose from. And now I can add that as a reactions button the same way as the kind of original five. And it will simply disappear after about 10 seconds. As you know, uh, as you see, it just disappeared. So those are some really cool things you can use now. And if you are a Zoom host, if you want to use this in your facilitation, all you have to do is update your Zoom app. And I actually did a whole video on how to update your app that you can check out right here. And if you don't want to use all of the emojis, if you just want to stick with the original five, there is a way to change that as a setting on the website. So let me quickly switch over my view to the website and show you how to enable that. So I'm here on the Zoom website, logged into my account, just clicking on settings on the left side. And then because there's a lot of things on this page, I like to use my kind of secret little shortcut to find something really quickly, which is Command F on Mac or uh, Control F on a PC. And you just type in reactions and it will search the website for what you want to look, uh, what you're looking for. And we can see meeting reactions is right here. And uh, you can see that right now we have this little checkbox uh, or um, what is it called? Uh, well, you can choose one or the other. You can either do all of the emojis or the selected emojis. And then if you click save, it will apply that for all your meetings on your account. Now you see here that this feature is only available with the newest update 5.6.3 that was released on April 19th. So just yesterday. And if you uh, if your participants don't have the most up-to-date Zoom version, they will not be able to access this feature. And that's been a little bit of a problem with a lot of the new features that have been rolling out and us as facilitators wanting to use them with our participants. So I found out recently that there is a way how you can force update, uh, force an update for all of your participants before they can join your Zoom meeting. So 
if you want to check that out, I created a little video tutorial that I'm going to link also right here. And lastly, you might have been thinking, well, using emojis in Zoom is not necessarily something new. I've been using that for a long time. Yes, I've been using emojis as well in the chat for a long time. And this is how you do it. On Mac and on Windows, there's these hotkeys that you can use. Uh, it's Control, Command, Spacebar on Mac and uh, Windows button and period or Windows and semicolon on a PC. And what happens, it shows a whole emoji library that then you can choose from. So similar to the reactions, you can use this in the chat and I'll show you how it looks like so we can have a look. All right. I'm in the chat window of Zoom right now, and you can see that there's even a new um, message that makes it a little bit clearer on who can see your messages. So if you're selecting everyone, it goes to everyone in the meeting. If you're just choosing one person or the host, it goes directly to them. When you click it, it gives you this nice kind of summary. But let's type our secret hotkeys, Control, Command, Spacebar on Mac. And it will open up this little window. Um, and there, the same way, I can just search for something. I can just select one of the emojis. My frequently used ones are on the top. So if you want to do the mind blown emoji, just hit enter and that shows up in the chat. And this also works if you want to rename yourself or ask your participants to rename themselves. They can add emojis to their name. Actually, one fun thing that I often do is I look for this emoji, the trophy, and I will add that to people's name as a virtual trophy as a prize for winning an activity, which is super fun. So you can do all of that already. And now we can use all of those fun reactions buttons. So I could also add a trophy up here and uh, it would show up for about 10 seconds. All right, I hope this was useful. I hope you get to use this in your next meeting or event. If you have any questions about how to use this, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if this was useful, let me find this button. Please make sure to like, subscribe, share this video with anyone who wants to use this feature. And lastly, I have a whole online course called the Zoom Keepers that I'm putting together right now. It's about 70% done and I'll be offering that very soon on my website so you can sign up for the wait list. And what I'm doing in there is basically doing tutorials like this, screenshots like this where I walk you through how to use different features in Zoom so you can be confident with the technology when you're facilitating workshops. Maybe you're a tech Zoom producer and you're just supporting somebody else who's running a workshop. So you want to know all these things on how to create breakout rooms, how to share your screen, how to share music, even if the other person is sharing their screen. So I'll be sharing a bunch of behind the scenes tips, which you can check out there. So make sure you sign up for the waitlist and then I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.